been posed many times, Drew, without Pierce and Kernahan could Carlton kick enough goals to win. Well, they've only kicked four goals so far to three-quarter time. So all of their championship qualities will have to come out in this last term if they are to continue on their winning streak. Bradley, he's been fantastic for the Blues today. Looking a little bit tired too. His first game for the year after a hamstring injury. 8-8-4, Kev. It's been a good effort under pressure. Clappe, start of the game on the interchange. McGovern with quick hands. Kicked off the ground by Leach. Peter Mann, he's got a chance to give it across to Abraham. He does it. Twinkle toes, kicks the ball. Here's a chance set up here and kick it all the way down from half back as marked. Well, Is he's it... been to five league clubs. Carlton's not one of them. <laughs> Interesting too, Kip. There's no one on the mark. But he hasn't kicked a goal in all of last year and so far this year. Started his AFL career with Fitzroy. Went to West Coast, went to St Kilda, went to Essendon. Now Kenny popped this through. What a great start by the Dockers. Yes, well, that's the settling goal they wanted because uh, Bandy missing that last one before three-quarter time. And Abraham, again, just his evasiveness, really to just lose a player, sets it up a kicker who had Ben Sexton bearing down him and stood his ground beautifully and kicked his first goal in 16 months. And there's Dale Kickett going back to his position. He's out here uh, near the wing outside the square for the centre bounce down. His opponent, Clappe. Matthew Allen wins for the Blues. Knocked on by Rat. Spalding. Good gather, but run down by Chisholm. Heaver. Kudafidis was great in the third term. Back to Ratton who needs to lift. Heaver a centering kick. Silvani's on the forward line. Crunches the pack. Mitchell for the Dockers. Out to Ben Allen. The skipper has been superb. The kick by Allen holds up a little bit. Floats in the air, but the mark is taken by McGovern. It's 67 to 34. It'll be nearly a miracle if the Blues got up to win from here. And I'll tell you, if the Dockers win this, they'll treat this like a premiership. McGovern down towards McManus, punched away by Bradley. Well, with West Coast Roscoe being beaten today by about 10 goals, and uh, and if Fremantle can beat Calvin, maybe you might see a change in the balance of the uh, the strengths of the sides in yes. Western Australia. No, no doubt there's been a contrast in the uh, results today, Kip. McManus, man in front. Abraham, can't keep it in. Bradley can, does well to Camparelli. Feeds it back off to Sexton. Goes short to Spalding. Couldn't take it on the half volley. Clappe. He's looking for some option. Kicks down to Silvani in front. Oh, pop one high there from O'Reilly. Yes, while this was happening, Camper really off and Murphy back on. There's the over the shoulder. I played that four. Silvani started the game at full back. He's moved the full forward, kicked the goal in the third term. They need this early goal, Carl Silvani. He's popped it through. Great kick. And that's that second uh, goal to Silvani. One in the third quarter. Says then Clappe, who's spent a fair bit of time on the bench today. And O'Reilly just infringing across the right shoulder there. It's going to take a pretty good effort for Carl to uh, knock the Dockers over so far. Every time they fret, the doc has been good enough to stand up and come back. In the middle, and Allen's beaten Bandy a couple of times in this last quarter. Bradley out of the middle. Harding, number 32, with Rat. Well, Rat gave it to the opposition. I'm not sure whether he mixed up the colours, but Madigan got it. The kick over centre wing. A little toe poke forward to the 50. Manton. There's Allen, who's had a good few minutes. Manton's kick across the half-back line. Whitehead beaten by McManus. Here goes Abraham again. He could do anything, Winston. Walses to the 50, goes for goal. It looks all right. It's home. It's 
Three goals to Winston Abraham, and you'd like to be on the Dockers now. Amazing, Drew. It's the third time he's been strolling like that. Get control of the football. Watch this. And no one comes toward him. He almost stands still once he gets to 50. And only at the last minute, it looked like it was Allen that comes across his path. Just far too easy for him. Well, two of the most exciting young players, I think, in the game, Winston Abraham and also Bandy for Fremantle. Take away by Mitchell. Kicks up towards Wills. Durke traps the ball. He's got pace as well. And he's got evasive skills also. And it's been marked by Wills. He's going short. He's looking for McGovern. So Carlton a little bit slow in picking up their man. Well, he had Abraham out on his left-hand side all on his own for some time. One or two options there, man or uh, McGovern. Well, I've always regarded McGovern as being a pretty fair kick, Roscoe. Yes, he's a very intelligent player. It's good value for the Sydney Swans, and Derek Newsham acknowledged that and picked him up. Started on the interchange bench. So Andrew McGovern, 40 metres out. Well, he missed. be pretty disappointed with that so Carlton still have a chance they trail by 34 points still with just under 16 minutes to go in this final term at Subiaco Dockers have kicked two goals to one in the last term Bandy very high but couldn't take the mark ball spills out the back Madigan good hand pass oh Bandy doing things like a ruck rope Dick Mott wobbly old kick not much distance Sits up all right. Either the hand pass out in front. Kudafidi slides at the clap. Eh? His left footer is good in the direction of Silvani. Tries the one-hander with O'Reilly. Play on, says the umpire. Bursting out of defence. Here is Abraham. Here is uh, Chisholm. Chisholm. Now kick it to set a half forward man. That's a mark. Or a free kick. The umpire paid the free. Scotty Chibbs is one of the best proper uppers. I've seen. He just reads it beautifully. He's prepared to back himself all the time. He get caught out on occasions. He just backs himself so well. I just made that word up, Kim. I like it. There's a bit of a chance that the Dockers could come all over the top of the Blues here. They're, they're with the breeze. They're outplaying them still. Man could make the distance here from 55 metres. Drop punt. Not quite punch through for a minor score but uh, if you've taken the point spread and back the Dockers you'd have had very very good odds and when the Blues lost last year they lost by plenty they lost by 72 to the Swans and 58 to St Kilda Peter Mann again has been a very good player seven marks 18 possessions Christou kicks the ball straight up the center of the ground Kudafidi's got his hands to it Allen bundled over by Hogg Feeds the ball back. Norris read it well for the Dockers. Goes to Madigan. Under a bit of pressure. Comes back. Bandy. Oh. Beautiful pass. And finds Hines. He's got loose man in man. That's mark number eight. Well, maybe, maybe Peter Dean is the uh, general of their defence because they've missed him badly in the back six. Oh, yes, I mean, there's, everyone's got injuries, Drew, but uh, you lose a player of the calibre of Dean. You haven't had Hannah. You lose your two key forwards. So he kicked a goal in the third term. Can he make it goal number two? He can. Well, I've said on a number of occasions that for Peter Mann to play so very well at centre-half forward on this side, I mean, it's just a great compliment because the way the ball is chipped around so much coming downfield, you've got to be such an athlete, and he's proven that. And to play today, under some, and he has played the last few weeks under some stress with a left foot problem, it's been a man for effort. Umpire Jeff Caulfield has it in the centre. 13 and a half minutes for the Dockers to keep going against the Blues to cause a major boil over. Norris a bit of a fumble, pressured by Murphy. 
And Murphy once again takes it away from Norris. Ball out of play. Throw in, out of sight. It hasn't been a giant crowd here today. In fact, Subiaco is very disappointingly probably only about half full. But they've made the noise of a grand final crowd. And just frankly, the game's been a lot better than most grand finals in recent years. Heaver. A lucky kick to Bradley. Bradley has been a star. Keeps it low for Silvani. Out wide in the forward pocket. Pressure from O'Reilly. He's now outside the 50. And running out of room. Kick partly smothered. Clappe. Spalding. Under pressure all the way. Rat couldn't get the ball. Kick it could. Ben Allen sensational. Bandy started the game like a whirlwind. He's had Matt taken off. And we haven't seen Harry for a long time. Bandy's kick out wide to Norrish. Murphy pressures again, but Norris beats him. Forks the hand pass and says, you won't catch me, Justin Murphy. The kick inside 50, here's Mann again. Beautiful handling. What a great goal. Three to Peter Mann. And the doctors are rolling away. Yes, the plaudits on half back to Dale Kickett on the wing to McGovern. Just the way that ball came down, feel the kick from Norris at that place was pretty clever. And then for Mann to run onto it, watch this scoop, right hand scoop controlled it beautifully. Not easy to kick left foot like that either, running away from goal. What a finish. Peter Mann, three goals, two in this final term. A red letter day for Fremantle. Bandy versus Allen. Allen thumps the ball back towards centre half forward. Jones has been good all day for Fremantle to McGovern. Caught by Heaver. Dispossessed. Heaver once more. Gets the ball out to Murphy. He spent a lot of time on the interchange. Short to Bradley on 50. Under pressure. Puts it out on the full. And I think today the pressure of Fremantle has been absolutely outstanding. They've used their running skills, Kev, not only to attack, but also to defend in chasing and harassing, which has been a real improvement in their game. Harding from the back pocket. Finds Norrish. Feeds it off to McGovern. Short to man, and the ball just in, and then over the line. Fremantle by 47 points. Allen using strength and he's given away the free kick. So let's have a look at uh, Bandy's stats because he's been quite outstanding. Nine marks, 14 kicks and three handballs. He could have had a couple of goals too, Kev. And Peter Mann, nine marks, 18 kicks and two hand passes. And here he goes again with another handball. And his three goals also for Peter Mann. Great performance. Camparelli for the Blues. Up to half forward. Harding has to wait. Taps over his head. Williams has been strangely quiet. His left footer out in front of Silvani. Might carry. Oh, good hands. 30 metres out. In the goal square is Whitehead. Can't take the mark. Well, Harding got back there. He covered a couple of them. He's a player, Drew, that's had very little of waffle experience but has been asked to step up into AFL level and uh, very few players can do it with the, uh, uh, the effort that he has. And I just think he's been outstanding since coming in playing that back pocket or half-back flank. Just does the right thing. Very disciplined. 19-year-old from Claremont. In short, and the mark taken by Chisholm. Who, uh, according to Ross Glendinning, the best mopper-upper in the game. <laughs> Allen from half-back. McManus at the back of the pack. Couldn't take it. Kudafidis battled hard all day. Goes short. The kick carried too far. Hands Chris to Norrish has been very good. Back to Kudafidis. Feeds it off to McKay. Carl inside 50. Silvani, the high flyer at ground level. Whitehead. Silvani does well. Feeds it out to Heaver. Chisholm. He's hard to beat. Harding and Mitchell. Finds McGovern, he'll give it back. No, feigns the hand pass, goes short, looking for kick it, puts him under a lot of pressure. Clappe's there, he's got to beat two, caught by Ratton. 
finds a teammate in Allen. They've got the numbers. Mitchell out wide. It's keeping off. Just canters to the ball. Kicks into Wills. Shade at the eyes from the sun. McManus picks up. He's off and running. Gives it to Wills. Inside 50. Should kick a goal. Bad miss. In fact, McManus could well have passed to Hines, who'd given him a very good lead from full forward. But again, they're prepared us to carry the ball. Usually upsets that situation. OK, finds Christo. Breeze into the Blues face in the last quarter. Kick by Christo, holds up a bit at half-back. A juggler by Ratton. And he drags down the mark. 17 disposals, three marks to Brett Ratton. Bradley has been great. Clap A close to the boundary line. Ball's gone out. We'll have a throw in in between wing and half forward for the Blues out of side. Well, I think they know their fate for the day now. It's 88 to 41. And Fremantle, the new boom team in the West. Another Poseidon, Roscoe. <laughs> Cooter holds it in one hand. Fends off with the other. Kick to centre half forward. Whitehead floats one to Silvani. He's a long way up the ground. Williams. Yes, good mark. Low down. 40 metres out. Bradley wants it. He goes short to clap eight. Jones did well. Sporting should kick a goal. Just just four individual goal kickers for Carlton. Two to Silvani, two to Craig Bradley, one to Sporting and one to Cooter Feeders. Yes, and uh, fortunate there because Clapo split the mark he probably should have taken. But again, a bit indicative of the day that uh, any his teammates have had and Sporting just pops up for him. Quentin Leach comes off the ground, Waterhouse is on. Kicked the goal, his first uh, game of AFL football, the number one draft choice. McGovern out of the centre square, it's a long bomb. Man showed great courage running with the flight of the ball. Had the sun in his eyes as well, gives it off to Sexton. Camparelli kicks wide and finds Bradley. 27 possessions to Bradley, kicks the centre half for Chisholm. Couldn't take it this time. Spalding to Hogg. Twisting and turning, Harding. He's had a great game, the teenager from Claremont. They all love to run out of defence. He's had three bounces. Gives it across oh. to Wills. It was a shocking hand pass. Caught in two minds. Matt was held without it. He got a bit further up the ground than I thought he'd ever been before. Uh, well, he, in fact, uh, apart from the ordinary handball, he actually went to the flank. He could very well just kept running straight. Kick by Manton, not great distance to centre wing. There's interference there, Carlton free kick. Bradley, I think, for holding on against God. Back from hamstring problems, Craig Bradley. But Carlton's best today. The kick inside half forward, magnificent. Oh, don't tell me. Well, it should he have paid been a mark, mark. Luke. He should paid the free. Watch this, he certainly controlled it long enough and was just pushed. Well, at least he got a kick out of it. Across the half-back line to Godden, up to centre wing to Norrish, who had to wait for it. He dashes past Bradley. Kick by Norrish. Man again! Not this time. Bandy palms to man for number four. Across the face and through four are behind. He's kicked three goals, three. And he's had a lot of the ball at centre-half forward. A 42-point lead to the Dockers, who led by five at quarter time, 30 points at half time, 27 at three-quarter time, and they've gone away again. So the only quarter they lost was the uh, third quarter, and they lost that by three points. Camparelli kicking in for the Blues. McManus. Kicks the ball back, looking for Bandy. It's a great talent, Roscoe. Well, it is. Uh, and the kick off the boot looked pretty poor. It didn't advantage, uh, go to the advantage of Bandy at all. But in the end, he had the ability to turn and athletically get back. Ben Sexton got himself right under the ball. 
had another good day, Bandy. Deserves a goal. Just the sixth game of league football. I'm directly in front. He's capped off a great day. Yes, that athleticism uh, really does help in today's football. Be able to get around the ground as he does. He's still got so much to learn. I know Neil Danaher and Jared Neesham are just trying to teach him as much as he, they can, cram football knowledge into him. He's a very good student. Chant going up around the ground for the Dockers. They are giving the Premiers a bath here. That's a free kick to Spalding back at centre-half forward. Fancy getting a percentage booster against the Premiers, and it will be a percentage booster with Carlton's score, score being so low. Just six goals for the day. Silvani with O'Reilly. The kick not going in that direction. Williams out number two to one. He had no hope. And Mark was taken easily by Chisholm. Across the half-back line kick it they do it all day and so confidently O'Reilly up from full back to center wing Durke not a bad kick by O'Reilly Gary Durke in between half back and wing out of side just under six minutes remaining in the game pace by Norrish tapping the ball for Wills Camparelli was back there finds Christou still full of run gee they're fit I can say that Kick by Christou. Kuda feed is almost. Amazing how often it goes from Christou to Kuda, but he hasn't got it this time. Allen, back to half forward. Man puts on the spoil. Illegally, says the umpire. Carlton free kick to go to Sexton. So Sexton started the game in defence, then went to centre half forward. Back in defence. Spalding. Has been one of Earl's best days. Carlton forward line has struggled. Punched away by O'Reilly. Ground level. Allen, the big man, does the roving. Gives it across to Hickmott, to McKay. Caught. Great tackle by Abrahams. Hickmott's caught. Abrahams has got it. He's off. A couple of casual bounces. He's going to take them all off. <laughs> Will's traps it at 50. He's caught, he's got man. He's booted three goals. Kicks a poor one. Ange Chris two. Gives it across. Ben Sexton out of defence. Clappe running with the flight of the ball. Whitehead. Battled hard. Jones has been very good at centre half back for Fremantle. McManus has lent support. He's running backwards. Transfers the ball out wide. Looking for Harding, who's been quite an outstanding player all day. Now he's got a panic. Norrish, all by himself, outstanding in this last term. Finds Hines. They should kick a goal. Well, they had the build up to do a lot better than that, Moscow. It's amazing how a player like uh, Norris can get so far free as. Gordon has a bit of treatment, limped off just before. 49 points the margin, three and a half minutes left. Christou, where's Kuda Fides this time? It's in his direction, Allen's there. Bradley, there's Kuda Fides. Off to Allen, Matthew Allen. Spent a long, long time in the wings, looks as though he might have stepped ahead of Harry Madden today. Here's Kuda Fides, not a great hand pass out wide. Clap A to the goal square. Silvani, crunched. Williams is there. Good battle at ground level. Chisholm takes it away from him. Harding's done it again. Back to Chisholm. Blind hand pass, and they're out of trouble once more. Listen to the roar as Jones runs out of defence. Kicks the space. McKay. Traps it back to Whitehead. He's got Williams loose on half forward. Goes short. Finds Spalding. So 
Will Sporting. He's kicked one goal in this term. Just the four goal kickers for Carlton. And that might just about sum up Carlton's day. And Dwayne Lamb is down the boundary line. Uh, yes, Tony Godden rolled his ankle, his left ankle, so he's icing up now and won't be playing any further part in the game. Hope it won't stop him celebrating. Because <laughs> they're all about to celebrate here in a couple of minutes' time. Might be wasting that ice. Hines takes it from McGovern. Abraham. Well, just as well as Earl Spaulding has some compassion because he could have cleaned him right up then. It's the slowest he's been all day. But wait on. Anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> he's caught. And the umpire's pinged him by holding the ball. Well, he did have 18 chances. Yeah, and he did actually bounce the ball when his jump was being held onto by Earl Spaulding. So Big Earl will kick from 50. The mighty Ajax was beaten going for his 19th successive win. Magic number. In the world of racing. And unfortunately, Carlton also are going to fall at that hurdle. Spalding kicks to the square. Silvani from behind. Chisholm, Clappe, gets it back to Silvani. Oh. Kicker takes it through. How about the Smothers, one after the other? With the game well won. Executive. As well. Scott Chisholm, one of the great talents of the game. Perhaps the Prince of the back line. Then in votes in the Brown on last year, just 15 games. He's the sort of guy who will capture the attention of the young oh, uh, carries the ball. Yep. Exciting player. Done some great things as well today. Manton. Been an undermanned Carlton today. No Kernahan, no Rice, no Pierce, no Dean. They've just found Fremantle too good today. Kick it. Manton up high, couldn't take it. McGovern taps out to Abraham. Rockets the hand pass to McManus in front. He's got support from Mann. So Mann can go all the way, run inside 50. He's kicked three. He's had three bounces. Should kick his four. Great play, Fremantle. And that's four in the second half, three in the last quarter to Peter Mann. Yes, and again, the ability to carry the ball from half back by the Dockers. Finds players with space, and they just take everyone on. It's not such an easy kick to have a shot from goal if you've run like that. But he had the good sense just to step, settle, steady with a couple of shorter steps. He popped it through. And again, no one prepared to run toward him. Well, what a day at centre-half forward. Nine marks, 21 kicks, four goals. Just 14 seconds left. The Dockers are over 100, and they'll win by over 50 unless the Blues can get a goal here in the last few seconds. Hogg taken off the ball by Mitchell. It's been a great performance by Fremantle. Abraham out of the middle, and there's the siren. And Fremantle have won, and Carlton's winning streak of 18 straight has come to an end.